Windows 10 is the latest version of Microsoft's operating system for PCs and tablets as well as many other devices. Windows comes pre-installed on most new devices. In this video, we will explore the basics of working with an operating system. We'll use the Windows 10 operating system for examples, but these concepts carry over to other operating systems too. When you start up your Windows 10 device, the first thing that will load is the operating system. You will see a screen asking you to log in. A device using Windows 10 as the operating system can be used by more than one person or user. Each user would create their own username and password, then use them to log into their profile and access their own documents without seeing other users' documents or profiles. This allows each user to create their own profile and personalize their experience the way they like. For instance, imagine two users that use the same Windows 10 computer. One user might want their device language to be English, while the other might like it to be Arabic or another language. This is possible with Windows 10 devices. To log into your device, simply enter the username and password in the designated boxes. If you have set up a personal identification number or PIN when you set up Windows 10, you could use your PIN instead of your password when logging in. Then, click the arrow next to the password box or simply press Enter. If you use your PIN, once the correct PIN is entered successfully, it will immediately take you to your desktop. When you log into your Windows computer, the first thing you see is your desktop. Sort of like the desktop of an actual desk. The desktop is where you can put documents that you're currently working on or documents that you need quick access to. Windows allows you to customize the look of your desktop, like the colors and the background image, which is called the wallpaper. That is why your device desktop might look different than mine here. At the bottom of the Windows 10 desktop is the taskbar. It is a very important component of Windows 10. Within the taskbar, you can accomplish many tasks, such as using the taskbar to know what apps are currently open, finding out what time it is, managing your calendar, pinning your favorite apps to the taskbar so you can easily launch them, and more. Let's take a closer look at the taskbar. On the far left, you will find the Start button. When you click or tap this button, it opens the Start menu. The Start menu is where you can find all the applications on your device, as well as access functionalities like logging off, restarting, and shutting down your device. We'll revisit the Start menu shortly. Right next to the Start button is the Search box. It allows you to search for applications by their name or search for files and documents on your device. Just start typing the name of your application or document, and you will find Windows showing you results as you type. You can also find a small microphone icon at the right end of the search box. This is Cortana. This section of the taskbar has icons for applications that are pinned to the taskbar, as well as software applications that are currently open or running on your device. Running applications will have a visual line under the application icon to indicate that it's currently running. You can customize this section by removing or adding applications as you see fit. Usually, applications you use frequently are pinned to the taskbar for ease of access. Microsoft Edge and Outlook are good examples of programs that are usually pinned to the taskbar. The last section of the taskbar features the date and time section and other icons which vary from one device to another. The clock will show you the current time and date. If you click on the clock, a window will open up revealing your calendar for the current month. Other icons in this section of the taskbar include the speaker icon, which allows you to adjust the volume of your device sounds. Click on this icon to adjust your volume by moving the slider to the left or right. The network icon, which shows if you are connected to the internet and Wi-Fi. Clicking it will show you local wireless networks, and right-clicking it gives you the option to troubleshoot your connection or open the network and internet settings. If you have any Windows notifications, you can view them by clicking the notifications icon here. You may also have other icons hidden away here, so they don't clutter up the right side of your taskbar. Click the arrow to view your hidden icons. Let's move back over to the left and explore the Start menu in a little more detail. Clicking the Start button reveals the Start menu. Here, a list of applications is listed on the left side, while on the right you will see an arrangement of tiles. Tiles are a concept that newer versions of the Windows operating system use, and they are meant to provide another easy way to access your favorite applications quickly. 
you can rearrange the tiles on your start menu very easily. To move a tile, click and drag it to the desired location. To make a tile bigger or smaller, right-click the tile, select Resize, then choose the desired size. Located within the Start menu are options for quickly accessing your documents and pictures, as well as a quick way to open your Settings menu. Also located here in the Start menu are shortcuts to logging out of your Windows 10 device, shutting down the device, or restarting it. To log off your Windows device, click the Start menu. Click on your username or avatar, and then click Sign Out. One thing about signing out of Windows, signing out is different than shutting down or turning off the computer. Signing out keeps your device running, but signs you out of Windows 10. After you log out, the computer is ready for another user to log in. Shutting down your computer simply means you're completely turning off your computer, like you turn off a television or another device. It is important to shut down your computer correctly, so you do not lose unsaved work. It also allows the operating system and applications to remain healthy and operate normally. To shut down your computer, click the Start menu and choose Power. Then select Shut Down. Sometimes you will need to restart your computer, like when a new application has finished installing on your computer or when an update has been downloaded. A restart is basically a shutdown followed by starting it back up all in one step. Your device will prompt you when it needs to be restarted. To restart your device, click on the Start button, then choose Power, then Restart. As you can see, there is a lot your operating system can do for you so you can use your computer to get things done.